Let's talk about socks. Hey everybody, Parker York Smith here. Welcome back to my channel. The right pair of socks can elevate your outfit from being just kind of fine to being extremely stylish. Today I want to talk to you about one, why you should even care about socks, and two, how you can incorporate them into your outfits to be looking real good. Before we begin, today's video is brought to you by Tabio. They're the most popular sock brand in Japan. When they reached out to me, the thing that grabbed my attention the most, the reason I was excited to work with them was their wide variety of styles. They've got classic, just crew socks like this, obviously some bright, fun colors, but then they also have short crew socks like these that are really fun. They even have tabby style toe socks. These are gonna be controversial, but I love it. Styles like these are not gonna be that common in the US, so I thought it would be cool to take these because they are a Japanese brand and kind of incorporate some Japanese styles into the outfits that we do with them. So first and foremost, why should you even care about socks? Unique socks like these are the easiest and most approachable way to express your personality in your outfits. It's a great way to express yourself with a little bit of color or a little pattern, just something that isn't quite as intense as a bold shirt like this or different things that you might not be comfortable with. In my opinion, it is one of the most neglected accessories, yet it's the most approachable. Anybody can throw on a great pair of socks and instantly heighten their style without having to worry a whole lot about the rest of their look. And there's nothing worse than when you've paid close attention to the rest of your outfit, you wanna look really nice, but then your sock peeks through and it's ratty and dirty or stained. Oh man. So now that you know why socks are important, generally, let's talk about which socks you should be wearing with different types of outfits. Whenever you're dressing yourself for a formal event, whether it's a wedding, graduation, New Year's, and you are going to be wearing socks, you need something that's gonna cover your entire ankle, a crew sock like this. Bold colors like these, totally acceptable. If you're into something a little bit more muted, gray is probably my favorite because it matches with everything. The worst is when someone wears a low cut pair of socks with their dress shoes and then when their pant leg comes up, you can see the top of that athletic sock or something, that's just gonna ruin your whole outfit. Now when you're dressing yourself in a more casual outfit with jeans, chinos, whatever it may be, you have a little bit more freedom. So you can wear the lower cut crew socks like this. These actually end up almost being like a no-show. I'm gonna show you a crazy way to style these or you can also still do the crew sock. So casually goes with everything, formally keep it with a taller sock. Well, now that you know so much about socks, you're practically an expert, let's talk about style ideas. One of my favorite things about Japanese style is their fits. It's always just like a slight bit oversized, but not crazy baggy. And oftentimes they wear their pants with just a little bit of a crop which is perfect for showcasing your socks. A lot of times when I'm putting together outfits before I film these videos for you guys, I just jump on Pinterest, which is exactly what I did. I typed in Japanese men's style and I found five looks that were kind of all over the spectrum that I thought were really doable with pieces that I already have and were gonna be approachable for you guys as well. So in the first look, I wanted to start off with something really casual to kind of show off these athletic inspired sort of short crew socks. So I found this outfit with the gray sweatshirt and the green kind of oversized chino pants layered over just a casual button up shirt. For the pants, I had something pretty similar. And then for the sweatshirt, it's just a simple gray crew neck like this one. It's a little bit oversized, but it kind of fits into the Japanese inspired aesthetic. For the socks, I paired them with white sneakers and just made sure that my pants were rolled up enough that I was able to see just a little bit of the stripe. Now with these, like I said before, you can be super casual and not have to be too worried about them showing a little bit of your ankle because of the fact that you are in a casual outfit, you're not trying to dress formally. Now with this one, I found this suited look that I wanted to show you guys how you can incorporate a little bit of color with these yellow socks some gray suit pants that match with one of my other suits, simple blue button down shirt, the yellow socks. Again, pull them all the way up so they cover your entire ankle when your pant does rise up when you sit down or if they're really cropped when you're standing. And then close it out with a camel brown jacket or you can do the matching suit jacket to your pants, whatever works best for you, but allowing the yellow to really be the focal point of the outfit you could even match a little bit of yellow in your tie if you wanted to. I didn't wear a tie just because I didn't feel like I needed it with this outfit, but if you are doing something that you need to be a little bit more dressy, having a match there can be a really nice move. 
So for this look, we're showcasing the green quarter socks. So I wanted to keep things kind of in an earth tone color palette. I really love the way this guy styled these kind of oversized chino pants rolled up. And then he did a lighter blue shirt with kind of a dark blue unstructured blazer. But for me, I kind of enjoyed the idea of a darker shirt with a denim jacket instead. That was just a little bit more aligned with my style and I felt like it was a nice straddling of casual and formal with the chino pants and then the denim jacket to really bring things down. Also, one other thing that's fun about a quarter sock is you can do a high top sneaker like these chucks and it just kind of shows a little bit above the shoe or you can do a loafer like these and it's gonna make the outfit a little bit more dressy. For this look, we're just using the neutral gray crew sock. I wanna edge things up a little bit, but I don't really want the sock to draw too much attention from the rest of my outfit. So we're going with an all dark aesthetic, a lot like this one here that you see Hold the socks up a little bit. I'm gonna roll my jeans a few times just to let the color of the sock pop out, but understand that it's not gonna be something super bright and distracting. For the shoes, I'm doing a dress shoe just because I feel like it really adds to the Japanese vibes of this outfit, but you could easily do a boot or a sneaker if that's a little bit more your style. And then this oversized piece of outerwear has a little bit of a bleach detailing to it, and I knew that it would be a really nice focal point of my look. So by keeping everything else dark, I'm drawing all of the attention to the jacket. The socks are not gonna distract at all, but they do add just a little bit of definition from where my pants end and my shoes begin. Finally, last but not least, we're styling the toe socks. This is not gonna be an outfit for everybody and that's fine, but I at least wanted to show you guys so that if you are interested in really pushing yourself outside your comfort zone, or you do really wanna try something Japanese inspired, you can do this. Corduroy pants with just a nice lightweight white shirt, the split toe tabby style socks, and the good old fashioned Japanese kimono. Now I'm styling these originally with these sandals to kind of really accentuate the toe sock. But obviously, as I said before, if this is too much for you, that's completely understandable. You can very easily wear this type of sock with a normal shoe, and it is really comfortable the way the fabric hugs between your toes. And there you go. Five ways to style yourself in these Tabio socks. Remember guys, it's not about copying these exactly. It's about watching it, gaining a little bit of inspiration saying, oh, whoa, I really liked how he styled that sweater with those pants. I know I have something kind of similar to that, so maybe I'll try an outfit like that. Or I really liked the fit of those pants. I'm gonna go shopping and try to find something that fits me in a similar way. Thank you again to Tabio for sponsoring today's video. Really loving their styles. As I said, the fact that they're not something you can find in a lot of places in the US makes them a great gift idea for other people or something for yourself. As always, go follow me on Instagram, turn on post notifications. If you enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I will see you guys next time. Tell a friend about the channel. Bye.